Hi, in this problem, we're going to do some examples of computing binomial coefficients. So the formula that we're going to be using is n choose r, and this is equal to n factorial, all divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. So this tells you the number of ways to choose r objects from a group of n objects. Okay, let's do some examples with various numbers. Let's start with seven, choose four. So just applying the formula, we have n equals seven and r is four, so this is seven factorial over, and then it'll be n minus r, so it'll be seven minus four factorial, and then r, well r is just four, so this is four factorial. Okay, this is equal to seven factorial over so seven minus four, that's going to be three factorial, and then here we have four factorial still. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, here's one way. So seven factorial is really seven times six times five times, and then it's four, three, two, one, which is the same thing as four factorial. Over three factorial is six, and then we have four factorial. These cancel, these cancel. Seven times five is 35. Boom, there it is. Let's do another one just so you get uh, more practice. I'll do this next example a little bit differently. Let's do eight, choose two. So this will be eight factorial over, that's the n factorial over n minus r. So eight minus two factorial. And then again, r factorial, so two factorial. So it's n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. This is equal to eight factorial over eight minus two is six, so this is six factorial, two factorial. And I said I would do it differently, but I, I guess I will. So you can write it out. You can always just, I took shortcuts here. Um, so eight factorial is eight times seven times Six five four three two one, which is six factorial, but I'll write it six five four three two one, and then six factorial is six five four three two one, and then two factorial is two times one, so it's two, and so you see, boom, 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 fifty six, right, fifty six over two, so that's 28. So you can write it all out. You can always do it that way. It's just, it just takes longer, so I usually don't do it that way. Let's do a couple more examples. Uh, how about something a little different? How about something with a zero? We haven't done that. Let's do eight choose zero, zero, eight choose zero. So again, the formula is n factorial over n minus r times r factorial. So it's eight factorial. Then it's n minus r, so eight minus zero factorial, zero factorial. This is equal to eight factorial over eight factorial. Zero factorial is one. Boom, you just get one. So pretty cool. Notice that you can replace eight with any number and you're gonna get one, so in general, n choose zero is going to be um, one. Let's do another one. How about, um, how about seven choose seven? Seven choose seven. By the way, this says, how many ways can you choose zero objects from a group of eight? There's one way you choose the zero objects. This one is saying, how many ways can you choose seven objects from a group of seven? There's one way you choose all seven. So the answer should be one. So it's seven factorial over, it's n minus r, so this is your n and your r, so seven minus seven factorial, and then r is again seven. 
this is equal to 7 factorial over 7 minus 7 is 0, so we get 0 factorial, 7 factorial. These cancel, so you get 1 over, and then 0 factorial is 1. And so you just get 1 in this case as well. Pretty cool, right? Really not too bad. Let's do another one. How about, um, let's just mix it up. How about uh, 9 choose 5. So again, it's this one factorial. Then on the bottom, it's n minus r, so 9 minus 5 factorial. Some people skip steps here. They'll put 4. I don't like doing that. <laughs> it's just, that's, you know, I just don't like doing it. So it's n factorial, n minus r, r. This is 9 factorial over, let's see, uh, 9 minus 5 is 4 factorial. And then 5 factorial is 5 factorial. Okay, so this is equal to, uh, let's see, so 9 factorial is 9 times, uh, times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, so 5 factorial over, uh, 4 factorial is 24, I haven't memorized, it's being cheap here, <laughs> times, and then 5 factorial, boom. So this is, I probably should have written out the 24, it might have made it easier to do, um, I'm kind of having some regrets there, but um, yeah, uh, maybe I will. 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. This is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's 4 factorial. I don't know why I put 24, but skipping steps. So the 3 and the 2, they cancel with the 6, and the 4 goes into 8 twice. You see how much easier that is? 6 cancels with 6. 4 goes into 8 two times. And so you get uh, 18 uh, times 7. 18 times 7, which is 126, I believe. 126. Because uh, 10 times 7 is 70, um, and then 8 times 7 is 56. 70 plus 56 is 126. Yep, that's it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's do one more. Let's just do one more. How about, uh, I don't know, 5 choose 3. So again, it's n factorial, so 5 factorial, over, and then here we have 5 minus 3, so it'll be 5 minus 3 factorial, and then 3 factorial, like that. So this is equal to 5 factorial, over, 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial, then here we have 3 factorial. This is equal to, so let's see, uh, 5 times 4 times 3, 2, 1, so 3 factorial, over 2 factorial is 2, and then here we have the 3 factorial. Boom, these cancel. 5 times 4 is 20, so you get 20 over 2, and so you get 10 as the answer uh, in this case. So hopefully after watching this video, you have a pretty good idea of how to compute um, these binomial coefficients. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.